I guess you could say one magical moment that's happened out in the water is one day a couple years ago, I'm out in the water with Cliff. All of a sudden, I hear from behind me, in a few seconds, you're gonna stand up. I said, what are you talking about? I can't do that. All of a sudden, I'm up in the air on my feet. I met Cliff the second time I had ever surfed, and our friendship kind of took off from there, and pretty much any time there's waves, I tell them, hey guys, I want to come down. Somebody is always here to accommodate that request, and just the sacrifices that these guys make to get me in the water, despite like their busy schedules, means everything to me. I have cerebral palsy, which is a neurological disorder. It affects your fine motor skills and balance and things like that. So obviously, you would think surfing is a sport where you need to balance pretty well and things like that. So when I tell people that I surf, they kind of do a double take, and then you watch the videos of me and things like that, and people are amazed. I'm Dylan Ronick. I'm 24 years old from North Belmore, New York, and I'm gonna be getting in the water today and doing some surfing. My name is Cliff Scudin, and I'm the owner of Scudin Surf, along with my brother, Will and um, co-founder of Surf For All, which is a nonprofit uh, surf outings that we do with children with special needs. You know, being a New York surfer, you, know, you have to be ready for all climate, all conditions. You know, not so lucky with the, uh, with the weather. So, you know, coming out here, you know, we jumped right in. You know, my parents are from here, my grandparents. So, you know, I'm from Long Beach and I, uh, I love this place. Dylan, he, he was a spark, you know, as soon as I seen him. You know, he really brings that stoke, you know, that, that, the passion of surfing, the riding the waves. You know, and, and, and he really holds his head up high and, and see what he, how he gets the stoke and like how much he's improving in his surfing and how much he's dedicated to the sport. You know, it's just so much more than the sport. You know, it's in life, you know, like how he's so determined to, uh, to get in the water and do it and like you would you would have to think for me is like he actually helps me so much because it drives me to do more you know it drives me to try to accomplish things that you know, I, I would think would be impossible Once I'm out there, I'm not really thinking about that my wheelchair is on the sand waiting for me or anything like that. I want to get a better wave than anybody else that's out there so everybody can look and go, holy shit, look what that kid just did.
Surf for All was sparked from uh, this guy, Izzy Paskowitz. He was out in California, and he started Surfers Healing. And uh, they did a national tour. And they came to Long Beach and did an event. And it really was an eye-opener for me. It was a life-changing moment for me when I saw that, and I was a part of his event. And he left, and I saw an opportunity, you know, because there were so many kids that I felt that needed that exposure. All right, we, um, we want to welcome you to Long Beach, New York. We want to welcome you to our beaches. All right, all the, uh, the students that are now our athletes coming here to participate in surfing, okay? We're very excited, all right, to get you guys in the water, teach you all the safety, all right? We're all here together, all right, to just have fun, all right? And this circle shows what we can all do together, all right? And that is something that's really special because we love surfing so much and sharing that with you is so awesome, and I love every minute of it. It's always difficult the first time, because obviously they have to get used to one, being on the board with another person, and then two, realizing like how I need to be laid out on the board, and just making it so that it works well, which is not easy at all, and it's just an all-around fun day.